Hi guys, you're watching GT channel. This is episode 36 of my Rogue Leveling series. So I have completed some of my quests that were scattered here all over this zone. But still there are more quests available at the Mud Sprocket. So you just have to like take Wing Rider and fly to the Sprocket of Mud. But first, there are quite interesting quests available at the Terramor Isle at this location so let's go and try to do this interesting quest this major mills NPC gives me it so I need to use the mortars to defeat that tier rewards are blue items shoulder well I think my shoulder is quite uh, better so I think I'm gonna take the the one that has one gold price, sell price. So let's check this quest out. Accept and I need to defend the Terra More Dogs from the Tet here. Look at that, everything goes dark. This is quite interesting and weird quest. So I need to use these these cannons, mortars. Well, for some reason I cannot click them. Why I cannot click them? It like shines, but I cannot click them. Damn it! How how do I do this? <laughs> what do I need to do? Damn it! So let's uh, read the quest log. I need to use the mortars to defeat Tetir. That's giant! Oh my god! It's like a boss, giant fish. And I cannot use the damn mortars. It's unclickable for some reason. Finally, finally I can click it, yes. So it's automatically like fires. Look at that, oh my god. The size of this thing, it like shoots blue, blue beam, something, water or what. So I need to like run from one mortar to another one. And fight this guy, holy shit, look at that, he's like a boss. It's a pretty strange, strange mob. Can I like uh, use my mount and click on the, on the mortars? No, I need to like uh, jump down and shoot. So this guy has 152,000 HP, holy shit. And there is like at the top, there's 12 out of 12 marksmen remaining. So I need to protect these guys that are like uh, the archers that shoot, shoot this strange creature. <laughs> Look at that, there are three, three guys fighting in the, in the water against him. Oh my god. That's quite funny. So I see some, some dead people already. NPCs. So let's use these mortars and take down this sea creature, sea giant. I'm not really sure what the hell that thing is. So let's use the mortars and how long do is it like uh, I need to wait before I can use it again. Well, I'm not gonna be waiting to check out so I'm just gonna go run and use the other ones. So there are three mortars here that I need to use. Run from each to another and use it on this mob. He's level 40 only and has like shitload of HP. Pretty cool quest right here. So he's going down pretty fast. Only 30,000 left. Now 18,000 left. I guess two more mortars hit and he's gonna die. Well, let's hope so. So yeah, he has only 5000 HP, so the last mortar hit that gonna kill this guy. So let's fire, fire in the hole and he's dead. Oh my god, he just jumped in the air and died. And disappeared. So, the light came back and that's it, the quest is complete. Some fireworks, people are shooting fireworks. Well, that was quite fun quest gear. So let's go and finish it. And I'm gonna get the poly arm. One gold, 34 silver. Nice sale price. 
So okay, finished one of these quests and I think I saw some another one. Before going to the mat sprocket, there is in the minimap, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there it is, look at that. In, inside this building there is another quest available for me. So let's go inside. And by the way, I already reached it. Level 46, I have uh, obtained a new skill. It's a rupture that uses 25 energy and it's a finishing move that uh, causes damage over time. So it's a dot, dot ability, 5 points and does 628 damage over 16 seconds. Pretty nice ability I guess against the plate users, some warriors, paladins and other shit. Hello. This guy gives me quest, Dr. Gustav van Hovzen, Traich. So, oh my god, there's a lot of text in the quest objectives. Save patients by using trash bandages to the tend to their wounds. You must save 15 patients before 6 of them die from their injuries. 8000 experience points, holy shit, that's quite a lot. So let's accept it and... I need to save patients. I think I saw them, some NPCs outside this building. Maybe not. Where do I need to go, damn it? So where are these patients? There are some people fighting, there are some NPCs just standing here doing nothing and when where are the NPCs? Maybe they are inside the building. I'm not really sure about this one. And I feel the quest already, damn it! Where the hell are the damn NPCs? Quest is failed. So let's uh, try to retake it. Abandon and take it again. Damn it. Oh, I see. I'm blind or what? <laughs> there, there they are, like injured aligned soldiers, like laying on the beds. For some reason, I've gone to the outside to search for them. So let's see, let's see. There they are. Let's use the trash bandage on them and save these guys I need to save 15 of them before 6 of them die oh my god finally I completed this damn quest I failed it about like 5 times while doing it so I supposed to do like uh, save the critical injured Alliance soldiers first, then badly ones, and then just the injured. And oh my god, they all of these bastards just like die so fast, and I cannot like go and save them. So it took me about like 10 minutes before I completed this damn quest. But the rewards are worth it 8000 experience points, some Alliance trauma certification, some paper. Well, anyway, let's complete it, and that's it. Quest is completed, got some heavy rune cloth bandages. That I can... Wow, 2000 HP, very nice. The ones I can make are the crappy ones. Can make... Make wave bandages that heal me for 800 damage only. But these ones are 2000. So, very nice. So, right now... Gonna go to the mud sprocket, the sprocket of mud, to continue doing my quest. So I am at the mud sprocket right now. This little goblin village, and there are a lot of quests available already from the goblins, little green guys. Let's take all the quests that the goblins give wanted gore cloud the ravenous so let's check the rewards rewards well rewards are kinda crappy but still okay let's go inside this building wow there's a horde npc here that has 10,000 hp so let's take the quest from this ogre Let's just take it without reading and we'll see what I will need to do. 
So, four quests. Or more. No, four quests only. Available. Well, it looks to me that uh, after this quest, this is gonna be like uh, the last quest available in this Dustwell Marsh. Yes, next episode, I gonna go to the next zone. I'm still not sure where to go to the other quests uh, at the Thousand Needles or sure like go to the Tanaris. I think I'm gonna go straight to the Tanaris and do the quest here if there are quests available here. I'm still not sure. But okay, let's first go and do some quests. The four quests to the new Talanar. So what is this quest that shows? Borrow a hippogriff from this leak, this leaks, silver grab and speak with Caricia Moonhunter at New Talanar in Feralas. Feralas? It's a, it's a location. I need to go here. Well, I guess I'm not doing this quest. Then let's go catch a dragon by the tail. Do this quest instead. Let's see, let's see. I need to go catch a dragon or kill a dragon well I think I saw some what is this oh I see this is the quest I need to like collect this strange strange plant looking thing and there are little little dragons flying here at this location so the quest is I need to collect these strange looking green plants Wyrm tail. And that's it, and you just 8 of them, and the quest is complete. 6 more to go. And this is gonna be the last weird tail that I need. And the quest is finished, that's it. I don't need to kill any dragons or whatnot. There's a strange, look at this, at map, Wyrm, Wyrm Bog. Strange cave looking thing. Maybe there's gonna be uh, some quest that I need to go inside and kill some. You just dragon. But let's complete this quest. Well, the pens, the pens are stats quite nice, but still my pens are a little better that I got from the dungeon. So the quest is finished. So now I have only two quests available: blood fan fetters and wanted to kill some some creature. So let's go and do it. So one of the quests is I need to kill these, these uh, raptors, dinosaurs, red dinosaurs. Just take them down and get uh, collect blood fan fetters. It's quite strange. A <laughs> dinosaurs have fetters. Well, maybe not that strange, but still, it's quite quite weird. Well, yeah, they do have fetters. Look at the arms and legs. Some fetters and the water quest. I need to kill something, so let's uh, kill these raptors and let's go to my new quest location at the same time. I need to kill maybe a raptor leader, Gorkla. I think it's a raptor, raptor leader. We'll see. Damn it, why? Oh, I see. I have like. Hold down my shadow step. So let's kill these raptors and head straight to the to the mob that I need to take down for my other quest. And damn it, this quest uh, quest item doesn't drop that that often. Yes, low low quest drop percentage, but still I need like two two more, and the quest is complete. And there it is! Oh my god! Like I told already, it's a, like a raptor, raptor boss. There are shitload of little raptors here. So let's go and try to take down this guy. This huge ass dinosaur. There's a lot of these damn red ones. Let's hope they don't attack me at the same time when I'm attacking this huge guy. Well, he has only 2000 HP, so it's not gonna be a problem for me to take down him. Like few hits and he's dead. That's it. The one of the quests is complete, so now I need to. I need to kill one more. Bloodfen Razorma to get uh, one fetter. One more fetter and 
All of my quests are completed. Let's take down this one and let's hope the quest item drops. And that's it. Let's head back to the mud sprocket. The sprocket of mud. So let's go and finish up the quests. Here you go, the fetters. And this guy gives me two more quests. Oh my god. I'll just accept them. And let's complete that other one. The wanted quest. Give me my reward. The reward gonna take, gonna take the well display pants. And that's it. So two more quests available, but I think I'm gonna do that them in the later episodes. So thanks for watching. Bye.